Today you are going to make the quickest, cleanest, easiest and most adaptable model of a lizard, crocodile, dinosaur, whatever you like, big or small, with just some tin foil and electrical tape. Hi, I'm Judy. Tin foil, electric tape, that's all you need, apart from maybe a couple of eyes and some pipe cleaners for the feet. So, tin foil, I mean the foil, really, really, really strong, providing that you crunch it as tight as you can. So it's a matter of squeezing it, no matter what shape you make, it has to be frozen very, 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 very much. If you just fold it over, it won't work, but if you squeeze it and squeeze it and squeeze it, then you're going to get something really strong, very similar actually to working with clay. I use aluminium foil as the basis for my animal models, uh, for outside and inside. They are covered afterwards in papier-mâché, but today we are using just electrical tape, so it's very quick, very easy and very clean. You need a few sheets of tin foil, uh, the same length to begin with. The length you decide on depends on how big you want to make your model. Allow extra because the bends in the tail and the head, etc. Uh, you use a lot more than you think, so probably allow half as much again. Uh, start off maybe with about three sheets rolled together and then just keep adding sheets until you get the right thickness for the body. Then you need to just bend sideways or bend up a part of, of the body for the head. I add two smaller scrunched up pieces on either side because that makes a, the right shape of head around the head. The nice thing about tinfoil as with clay really is that if it's not big enough or it's not the right shape, you can just keep adding bits and pieces or just wrapping more and more layers on until you're happy. So when you've got the head more or less as you want it, you have to now uh, make the tail a little bit longer and thinner. So you are gradually making it taper by adding um, sheets towards the bottom. Then you can obviously turn it, make it go which, in whichever direction you want it to. So that's the basic body, tail, head, finished. Now is the turn of the legs. So you need another two, three sheets of tin foil, uh, rolled and scrunched, nice and nice firm. You can attach the legs either using more tin foil, but that needs a second pair of hands and it can be a bit messy and frustrating. So the easiest way is to use some masking tape or if you don't have some masking tape, you could use cellar tape and then you can cover everything in tin foil again. Check you're happy with the, the shape, uh, the length and thickness. Give the body a good crunch to make sure that it's lovely and firm. And then uh, you can actually leave uh, the, the, the creature as it is. But if you want to add some feet, some claws, then you're going to need uh, some pipe cleaners or some matchsticks and again your um, electric tape. Uh, the feet are probably the fiddliest bits, so maybe if you do this with a younger child, it's better just to leave them as they are here. Here I've bound used matchsticks in uh, the electrical tape. You can see they're a bit kind of stiff and of course they'll break. Uh, so I really, really do prefer uh, pipe cleaners and much more flexible. These claws have been uh, done realistic, with uh, they do pipe tend cleaners to be thicker when thicker, you can them. But a lot more flexible and uh, they will not break. So the feet are in place and don't worry about any bits of tin foil which might be flapping about because we are now going to finish it off with some electrical tape which will stick everything together perfectly well. 
and just a piece of cake. A tip is to start off by winding the tape diagonally round the legs because that just sets them in place and then really the, the rest of the binding is very, very easy. I usually finish off diagonally too for the extra strength. This is a great activity for long journeys uh, because it's fun, it's easy, it's clean and when you get to the, your destination you've actually got a new toy to play with. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and that you will really have fun making lots of marbles. You can find our Jumbo House on Instagram at Jumble House and also Jumble House Creativity. We are also on Pinterest and Facebook.